Hi, this is Rob Thompson with Robin Artist Studios. Uh, title of my uh, uh, chat is uh, Live with Robin Artist Studios, and I'm hosting. So I just wanted to sit here. This is my first one, and I am uh, working on art. I'm a stained glass mosaic artist. Uh, I love to make art. You can see some of my art in the background. And uh, um, it is uh, what I do. I cut glass. I glue it onto clear glass. And then I grout it with uh, grout. And then I frame it. And so you have uh, things like what you see behind me over here. And over here, that was one of my first ones. That's uh, uh, a version of um, uh, uh, the birth of Venus, um, or as my parents lovingly refer to it as uh, Venus on the half shell. Uh, but that's my parents. And I don't talk about them very much, except when I do. And uh, uh, it's, it's fun. It really is. Uh, I don't have anybody here. Um, so I'm just sitting here live, uh, testing my equipment, testing my um, um, chutzpah to see if I can put something together and uh, uh, see if it's worthwhile. Um, obviously it is, uh, uh, well, I don't know where this is going to go, so I'll try to watch my language. Um, I'd like to, uh, uh give a couple of acknowledgements first. I want to say thank you to, um, uh, um, Ellen, who, uh, really lit me up and got me started with this. Uh, I remember the first time I went shopping with her. She's a stained glass mosaic artist. Um, and uh, I went shopping with her. And she liked the way that I picked glass up and looked at it and weighed it against uh, different colors of glass and how they compared and measured with each other. And she... Uh, was inspired with my curiosity and when she went to uh, uh, leave Texas for a while to go pick apples in Wisconsin yeah Wisconsin uh, she left all of her uh, stained glass with me and said here go do something and uh, I started out with a couple of small things like uh, uh, a rose on a solid backer board um, that uh, did not have any light coming through it uh, and uh, made a couple of other things and had some fun and uh, when she came back she had said okay go do some more and that's how i got started um i think my first couple of projects uh was with uh uh, flowers. I made a uh, chrysanthemum. Uh, I made a rose and then um, playing around looking for subject matter. Uh, my nieces, um, Taylor and Sarah, uh, liked the Harry Potter stories and Taylor liked the Harry Potter um, movies as well. And I made a, a couple of Christmas presents for them. Uh, one was uh, a picture of the um, Hogwarts castle, and another one was a uh, uh, picture of uh, the Whomping Willow. And I really got started with making very small pieces uh, and putting them together and creating uh, a story. And I think that that's one of the things that really um, laid the final hook in for me was that I was able to put it all together and tell a story. Um, some of the things that you see behind me are um, 
different versions or renditions of some classic paintings uh, like this one over here it was done by a French painter uh, and I don't know how it translated uh, but uh, it's I mean what the original translation for the title was but it was uh, uh, called truth and I took that same image and uh, changed the color of her hair and uh, put it on an Austin skyline and um, had some fun with that. Um, this one over here again is the birth of Venus and that had to do with uh, uh, the battle of the gods against the titans and the uh, titan Kronos uh, was smitten and his testicles fell into the ocean and the foam that came from his testicles um, gave birth to uh, the goddess Venus uh, and that's what that story is there. And Venus is um, uh, a, participant, a participant in several of the Greek stories um, one of which is uh, um, the judgment of Paris, which led into uh, uh, him falling in love with uh, the Helen of Troy, uh, and that led to the Trojan Wars, but that's all a prequel to the Apple of Discord uh, that was given uh, by the goddess of Discord. Um, at a wedding party of the gods between Thetis and uh, Menelaus? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, but uh, it was that apple of discord that uh, uh, was presented um, to uh, sh uh, the one who was most beautiful and that's when the gods got into their argument and all of this kind of good stuff and uh, Zeus said yeah I'm not gonna get into that one because I'm married to one and the other one's daughter and then there's Venus over there um, that nobody can really say uh, she belongs to me and uh, that's why they suckered Paris into uh, um, judging the first beauty contest and uh, and it all snowballed and just mess ugly all kinds of interesting things um, but uh, I've uh, anyway uh, I'm just looking at a, a different picture uh, or a different mosaic I have uh, with Lita and the swan that's sitting in my window right outside of camera range over there. Uh, you can't see that one. Um, but anyway, this is my studio. Uh, it is not very big. Um, and it's a little bit of a mess right now. So pardon that. Um, pardon my slouched um, um, posture. Uh, my chair is kind of stuck in the leaned back position. Otherwise, I'd be uh, sitting up straighter like this and talking with you uh, a little bit more. I don't know, confidentially, maybe. I don't know, whatever. Um, forgive me. I'm kind of distracted because I've got the uh, um, picture right here, and I just want to keep an eye on it to make sure that it's still going. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's that's me. That's my studio, and uh, I still have no visitors. But you know, the other side of that is that I really haven't. Uh, well, not really haven't. I haven't made any invitations. This is just what I was going to do, and I wanted to sit down and do it. And if it saves, fine, cool, no problem. If it doesn't save, well, yeah, this is a good trial run, and I'll figure out what I did wrong after that. Uh, but 
anyway, uh, like I said, I'm Robin. Um, I have uh, uh, a couple of websites. Uh, one is uh, uh, robincarrythompson.com, and that's where I showcase my artwork. Uh, I do sell my art. It's on uh, artpal.com slash robinartist. Uh, don't misunderstand or uh, get confused. Uh, the, um, the website is uh, artpal.com slash R-O-B-N-A-R-T-I-S-T. And there may be another slash, maybe not. Uh, if you find it cool, if you don't, um, somebody will let me know. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, but uh, right now it is uh, April 23rd. 23rd? Yeah, 23rd. It's about uh, 7.35, 7.36 in the evening uh, here in Austin, Texas. Again, that's where my studio is. And uh, I'm usually dorking around here on weekends. Um, I haven't thought about going live uh, throughout the day just because I screw around so much. Uh, I usually have a movie going on in the background, and I've got a TV screen that's over here outside of camera range as well. Um, but... Uh, I am sitting here at my workbench. I've got my laptop that's set up here, and then uh, my camera that's uh, braced against a, a shelf. So, you know, you notice, you may notice that most of the people who make videos or talk to their camera on Zoom, they're usually laying down or uh, looking down at a camera that's you know kind of you know more like this and they're sitting there talking to it and uh, the camera basically catches all of the nose hairs and everything that are uh, as the uh, lens is looking up and i wanted to uh, have it in a, a little bit more of a um less organic i don't know if that's the way you want to put it or not <clears throat> but uh, uh, that's that's what I what I've got here. Um, unfortunately, you can't see all of the mess. I don't know if. Uh, uh, let me see if I can do something really goofy here. I want to take a picture of my studio. Let's see. Okay, we've got it down here like this. Let's turn the flash on. Uh, let's put that on. And zoom it back like that. Take a picture of it. All right. Now I've got a picture. And let's blow it up a little bit. And if you can see it or not. Uh, yeah, that's my... Uh, workbench here. You've got the uh, uh, there we go. Um, all of my little pieces of glass, some of my larger sheets of gla uh, pieces of glass that I cut from, and then I've got my uh, uh, tools that are actually over here. Uh, I don't know. If, no, you probably can't tell crap so I'm just goofing around wasting my time but anyway um, I may take a picture of it and post it or I may not and I'll just leave this intimate mess of mind to myself but uh, that's that's yeah, I pretty much have got everything I need to keep me occupied for the day uh, I've got my cigarettes. I've got my ashtray. Oh, I want to show you my ashtray. This is so cool. This is a crystal ashtray that used to be my grandmother's. And I love this thing just because it's my grandmother's. But it's crystal. 
uh, lead crystal. It was a full element uh, elephant, and uh, I abused the crap out of that with uh, all of my cigarette ashes. And you may be able to tell because of how dirty it is. Uh, if I clean it up, cool. If I don't, well, it's mine, and I can do with it what I want to. But this is my, this was my grandmother's, and of course my grandfather's too. Um, and uh, my cousin Anne gave it to me. Uh, it was one of the things that just kind of passed down. It appears that everybody in my family had stopped smoking years ago, except me, and. Um, I love it because it's an elephant, and I love elephants, plus I lean more toward the conservative side of politics, and I found it quite apropos, um, and it tickles the shit out of me. I couldn't even tell you how much that cost, but I'm sure somebody could, uh, but it's precious to me, and I cherish it, and that's one of those things that's in my studio. Uh, I've got a lot of other stuff. Um, you may have seen, or if you're curious, uh, you will see uh, um, the uh, nude Superman mosaic I did. I don't have that here, but uh, uh, that's on my um, Robin Artist Studio uh, page on Facebook. Uh, I know uh, I'm not supposed to put any links in here because... Um, YouTube will um, downgrade me if I give any kind of links that'll take you away from YouTube. Uh, they like you to stay on YouTube so that they can give you your commercials and all of that kind of good stuff. At least that's the way I understand it from the um, social media marketing uh, podcast that I've listened to. Um, but, uh, you yeah, uh, I've got all kinds of neat, weird, and goofy stuff around here. Uh, I've gone out of my way to uh, have uh, lighting uh, so that it's not gray. Uh, see, my work lighting, it just basically comes right down against my studio here, and then I work on it, and then everything else is pretty much dark in the background except for the window I have here. But... Uh, I have done some playing around and put some shelves in here so I can display this. And uh, I've got another glass shelf up there, but it's a little too far out of the uh, camera's line of sight. And I've got this thing hanging here. Um, I've got a light behind that, and that's probably why it's bleaching out everything around there. Um, and then, you know, my... Uh, uh, Venus on the half shell. Um, I, I will be rotating some of my work. Um, so if you uh, want to keep track of, oh, he moved something around again, uh, you can go ahead and see that. Uh, I have, well, I have a lot of shit. See, I can say that because I clicked on there and said, this conversation, th this video is not for children. So, I don't have to worry about my language. I will do my best to not use the F word very much unless I'm excited or I'm mad or if uh, I hurt myself. But even then, I don't do it that. I, I wouldn't do that that much. Um, but... Uh, uh, that's about where I am there. Um, you know, some of the other things. I'm going to just drop that in there. And yes, I know I did not use my elephant to put my cigarette out. I used an empty bourbon bottle. Mm. Oh, guess what? It's Tracy. Tracy's calling me. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, honey. What you doing? Uh, 
Oh, okay. And it's got plenty of cheese and processed tomato sauce in there, so it'll probably do something bad to you. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sitting here in the studio right now, and I have got the live stream going, so I'm talking to you live on YouTube. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, I don't, you know, I just picked up the phone and you're against my ear. You're not even on the speakerphone. So all I hear is just one side of the conversation. Uh, and I probably don't even know I'm talking about lasagna. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not a problem. I can go ahead and... Uh, put an end to the stream you know I've been live for about well going on 21 minutes now uh, yeah so I you know just basically came home from work and said let's see if we can do this thing and uh, I've been talking about my studio and uh, just getting started and I was going to go into uh, uh, the project that I'm working on now and then uh, uh, the Godiva project that has been put on hold uh, which would probably maybe another five ten minutes depending upon how much I ramble uh, but uh, you know as nobody is on the live chat or anything like that because I haven't put any kind of um, uh, announcement out it's just uh, I don't know I'm like, um, I, I don't even know if it's going to save. So, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it's just going live and uh, um, oh, who knows? Maybe YouTube uh, texts back in the back office are going, hey, we got another dumbass on there. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm, I don't know about that. I just switched you over to speaker so uh, everybody uh, can. You know, so. Well, I'm going to try to find you. Oh, okay. Pulls off the road. So, now, do I go to Robin Carey Thompson or Robin Artist Studio? Robin Artist Studio, right? Uh, let's see. It's my, um, I think it's my uh, Robin Artist uh just search robin artist on uh youtube and it may come up i honestly i don't have any idea oh so you're on you're on youtube you're not on facebook correct uh, i opened the wrong app here yeah okay. i'm on youtube live okay so and so I just put the phone down. But anyway, anyway, I'm talking to Tracy, my wife, and um, she called. Me, and I always answer the phone when she calls, just because I like talking to her. Um, and, and so yeah. she, she goes quiet again. <laughs> I can't find you. Oh, this is terrible. How come I can't find my own husband on YouTube? Oh, uh, I don't know. Um. It's it's uh, the, there's it's the same icon is showing that is on uh, uh, the uh, our um, Google chat. You know when we send messages to each other during the day, it's got that same picture uh, showing me uh, or same picture of me. So Rob Robin artist is uh, don't have an uh, don't have any idea. Um, Try it again. Let's see. Uh, look, look under Robin Thompson because there is a, a little yellow uh, uh, highlighted area with my name on it with my picture. Uh, so try searching Robin Thompson. I'm searching. Hold on. I have to type it in. Okay. And. Uh, but uh, anyway, what I was getting ready to start doing before you called was to uh, 
uh, talk about the mosaic I'm working on now, which is uh, 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 the horse race between uh, Seabiscuit and War Admiral uh, at the finish line. And I found just, you know, introspection, self-analysis, a lot of my mosaics I've been working with um, an overall theme of uh, winners and champions, um, you know, with uh, the Greek mythology, the winning story, uh, the Superman, obviously, he's uh, pretty much a champion, more than not. And uh, uh, I decided to veer off a little bit with this one. Uh, the one that I've had to put on hold is the uh, uh, mosaic I was working on for uh, uh, a Lady Godiva. But I am going to be, uh, uh, my model is going to be uh, in the, how old would you say Lisa is? What, about 60, 65? Really? With all of that gray yeah. hair? Oh, I hope she well, doesn't. I hope she doesn't see on. this. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, fifty fifty five, somewhere like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, she has horses, and she said that she would pose for me. Uh, and uh, her husband's going to take some photographs. Any luck yet? Oh, well, um, shoot. Robin Artist Studio. No, Robin Thompson. I don't know. Robin Thompson, Robin Artist Studio. I, are, are you, so are, many people with your name. Are, are you on uh, YouTube? Yes. And you're searching YouTube for Robin Thompson. Yes. And there's, um, there's other Robin Thompson. The Bastards. Uh, there's candy. Nope. Um, there's uh, someone said Robin Thompson, an invitation to come away with Jesus. Uh, nope, that's not me. Yeah, let's see. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm going to try something with my other phone. And see if I can't get into YouTube. Let's see. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to go YouTube. Y O U T U B E. There we go. YouTube. Let's see. Let me. Do I have any other clues? Um, not from here. Uh, but, uh, let's see, Johnny, lines, uh, whatever, um, well, shoot, just shoot. Breastfeeding the <laughs> nope, I didn't do that. Uh, no, there, there wasn't me at all. Let's see, O B I N. Hmm. So, yeah, so I've got all kinds of dead space. And let's see, Robin Thompson search here. Uh, let's see, 40 videos. Oh, there I am. Uh, just uh, do Robin Thompson and then hit search, and it'll it'll show live from Robin Artist Studio, and it'll show me as live. And that's. But I found me. I don't know why I'm finding every Thompson in the universe. Um, okay, have you hit Robin Thompson and that enter so that the uh, 
thumbs will show up. Yeah, what am I looking for here? Um, sort by, I can. No. See no. Uplifting. No. I just did Robin Thompson and hit search. And uh, it was like the uh, sixth thumb that showed up. And it says live from Robin Artist Studios. You might try that one because that's the title I put on it. Okay. Live from, you know, like live from New York. I put live yeah. from Robin Artist Studios. And that's me. <coughs> That help? Oh, sounds yeah, yeah. There's a reason. I just don't know what it is. Uh, well, yeah. uh, bummer. YouTube hates you. Okay. Maybe, um, you know, I've got filters that keep me from seeing adult fights or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Wow. Because, you know, my site is a children's site, and I'm locked in as me, so. Okay. Well, I, 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 I did. Do that. I did set this up. Uh, this is not child friendly, just because I may go off with a an F bomb or uh, my nudity in the background or. Not yeah. my nudity, but the nudity of my work in the background. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's not have your nudity up there. Now, are you, are you searching from the um, YouTube app? Yeah. Okay, so well. I, I, I have to come home now because I'm going to have a potty emergency in the ditch if I don't come home. So I'm driving again. Okay, well, nobody who's um, listening heard that. I am not going to use the grass today. Well, good for you. So I'll be home in about 15 minutes. Okay. And then we'll pick up the search when I get there. Oh, sounds That's good. Easy. Well, I'll just sit here and entertain myself going live. And uh, I love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And that was my wife. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know why. Um, okay. Uh, all right. So I'm looking at myself on my phone as it's going like this. And let's see. I'm going to. Hey, let's try this one. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to share the link with Tracy. There we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> and we did that. Let's see. Um, all right. So I'm going to share this again with my uh, uh, daughter and my niece and let me go ahead and hit the go like this and hit over there and hit return let's see and just type in i'm live on y-o-u-t-u-b-e -E. right now okay and we'll see what happens. See if I've got anything that comes up. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. I can sit there and I'll goof on one phone. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, well, I got the message. Uh, I guess I was included in that group with um, Tracy and Deborah and Bethany. <laughs> so since I got the message on my other phone, somebody's going to get the message as well. And... Uh, 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 okay. Anyway. Um, well, cheers. Uh, but uh, anyway, you, you got basically the gist. Uh, the thing that I'm really excited about, 
uh, with this uh, uh, Godiva project that I'm working on is, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Lisa's um, my age, our age, Tracy and Tracy and I, um, she's our age. And all of the um, depictions of Godiva in the past have been of a young woman. Um, and uh, um, she's nude riding on a horse uh, through the village of uh, Covington. Uh, the actual story is that she was trying to convince her her husband, her lord, her master, the Earl of, uh, of Covington, um, and I don't remember his name, but uh, um, all right, I can't see anything there. Uh, but uh, she wanted him to lower the taxes on the the uh, uh, people in the area. He was an earl, and he did agree to uh, lower the taxes on the condition that she would ride through the village nude. Oh, uh, somebody's sending a text going, oh, goody, or maybe not. Uh, no, it's just the same message uh, saying that I've got a text message that uh, needs some attention. <laughs> whatever uh, and anyway um, and he said yeah I'll lower the taxes if you ride through the village naked which is pretty weird um, but no weirder than some of the other perverted stuff that we've all heard throughout the centuries uh, with regards to uh, getting one's jollies off um, uh, but there were restrictions, uh, you know, the village uh, weren't supposed to uh, uh, be looking at her as she's going through the uh, uh, riding her horse, which I don't know, kind of defeats the purpose in my book. But the other side of that coin, too, is that there was a test to see how loyal the, uh, uh, the people in the village were to, um, uh, to his... Um, authority and uh, if uh, well you, you're familiar with the term peeping Tom that actually came from the uh, uh, Godiva myth uh, where some guy looked out the window took a peek peeping Tom and he was struck blind according to the way the story went uh, I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of different twists I'm uh, I'm going to have people in the village uh, at their market carts uh, as they're selling their vegetables and their flowers and their leather goods. And see, I did a little bit of research to find out what kind of stuff the peasants actually sell in the markets. Um, you know, knives, things like this, um, uh, metalwork, uh, leather work, and uh, produce, as from what I understand. Uh, I also found out that uh, uh, this was right around the um, beginning of the 10th century, somewhere between uh, uh, 1015 and 1025. And uh, the other thing I discovered was that uh, the side saddle wasn't invented until the 1400s. So Godiva is going to be right there straddling her horse on the saddle. I'm going to make the same kind of a boxy saddle that uh, uh, knights have. Um, so there's not going to be any exposure of the private parts or anything like that. But uh, I am going to have her standing or sitting proudly in her saddle as she's going through the village. Uh, she's doing this to help him, so there's no reason for her to feel ashamed. Um, I'm also going to have, like I said, the villagers are going to be in the market. They are going to respect her and what she is doing for them, and they will have their backs to her. I want to have one of the um, uh, vendors in the market um, holding a, a, a bouquet of flowers 
and gift them to her as she rides by. And she's going to, you know, reach over and um, receive them from his hands. But again, his back is going to be to her uh, out of respect. And that's the way I'm playing with the idea all over it. Um, blah, 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 yada, 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 all this kind of good stuff. Um, uh, and that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, uh, my last one that I finished, uh, couldn't even tell you, um, I don't remember. I know I did, uh, um, the, uh, plump three graces. Tracy doesn't like it when I refer to them as my fat girls, but, uh, I did uh, a version of the Three Graces nude. Um, what was the last one I did? Let me go into my phone and look. Uh, that was another one that I'm really quite proud of. Uh, pic no. um, pictures, picture, here we go, pictures. Uh, scrolly, 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 scrolly. Uh, those are uh, a lot of pictures from my... Uh, marketing exercises. I uh, took a lot of pictures that I shot uh, for still actions throughout a day so that you could see how a mosaic transforms with uh, uh, morning light, noon light, afternoon light, and sunset. You can find some of those on my Facebook page as well. Um, uh, I'm rambling a lot. Here we go. Oh, yes. This is one that I I love a lot, and uh, um, I did a, a version of the thinker, um, but uh, my uh, I wanted to do a female version, and uh, as I was playing around and putting this together, there was this, um, I call it the goofy part of me, or my, uh, or evil Rob is my other side. Uh, he's the one who makes all kinds of funny, snide, goofy comments to uh, spur me on or belittle me or to say, you're not good enough. And he said, why don't you make her pregnant? And then I thought, hey, that is a great idea. Let's have my thinker pregnant. And um, oh, I found a model, um, a very close friend of Tracy's. And uh, she agreed to pose. My daughter took the pictures. And uh, uh, I asked for um, um, image capture on both her right side and her left side because I had taken the uh, concept even further. Uh, I took my model and posed her in the uh, uh, mosaic. And then I took her other side and wrote it to, rotated it as the uh, uh, as a uh, sculpture of her being carved in marble and so the uh, the white marble sculpture is uh, almost probably more than twice as big as uh, the subject and uh, I went all out and designed the art studio uh, for the model to be posing in and the uh, uh, sculpture, sculptor to be uh, um, um, chiseling away. And uh, then I got the really goofy idea of let's go ahead and put the sculptor in there too instead of just having uh, my model uh, as part of the subject and then the sculpture as the other part of the, sub uh, the subject. Uh, let's put the sculptor in there as well and so I did a self-portrait of myself, and you know, he's just uh, a very small portion of uh, the entire mosaic. You can see that one on Facebook as well, too, and uh, uh, on uh, artpal.com slash Robin Artist. Um, you can, oh, oh, wait, do, oh, my goodness, I see somebody making comments to me. Hi! <laughs> Oh, holy mackerel. Okay, I have an audience now. But anyway, uh, so 
the whole thing came together, and that's what I had done with that. Oh, let me squint over here and say, oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, my daughter is waving. Hi, Deborah. She's waving. And Tracy is saying uh, maybe she was not actually naked if nobody saw her. Halloween ever know? Mm -mm. Oh, well, I guess that's <laughs> uh, something. All right. Anyway, um, somebody said what? Okay. Uh, 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 that's Bethany. <laughs> Obviously, she didn't get it <laughs> or didn't understand it. <laughs> uh, but I'm not talking bad about anybody. Anyway, uh, so it looks like it is semi-successful as far as uh, my first live YouTube, <laughs> my first live YouTube, and uh, uh, I'm going on 46 minutes now. So uh, let's see. Uh, the blue shirt looks nice. Oh, thank you, Tracy. This is my blue action T-shirt. So. Uh, <laughs> anyway all right maybe it would be better if i just don't look at the comments and just uh, continue on talking but uh, i think i don't know 46 minutes i've rambled on i've told you about my future project my current project and my last project um and again you can go visit though see those uh i have those posted on my um uh, Facebook page. You can see it at uh, Robin Artist Studios is my one of my Facebook pages. Um, uh, you can go to Robin Carey Thompson, search for Robin Carey Thompson with a C on Facebook, and you can find me there. Oh, somebody's still popping up. Uh, oh, Tracy's saying hi again. Let's see if I can scroll down. Um, Oh, Siri is doing the typing, so um, the three graces, oh, graces, uh, oh, yes, I, I've already called them my fat girls. Uh, oh, you're acknowledging that. Um, so, anyway, I already said Tracy doesn't like it when I refer to them as my fat girls. So, um, anyway, uh, this is me. Uh, I will be back. <laughs> I am having more fun than I really ought to. <laughs> I can't believe that I've been sitting here rambling for uh, 48 minutes now. How about them apples? So, um, uh, <laughs> hey, Tracy, this is a new way for you to come get me to go pick up groceries out of the truck. <laughs> uh, Probably not, because I really have to squint, and if there's much going on. Anyway, um, uh, 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 stop distracting. Oh, uh, Deborah's talking to Tracy and saying, stop distracting him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and that's my family. I love them. They're wonderful. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, I will be back. Uh, I wish... Bethany was able to see me, but she somehow missed it. Uh, she just said, what? <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, that's me. I will go out of my way to invite more people in on the next one uh, so that uh, I can have a, a larger audience to entertain uh, and go from there. Um, this is Robin with uh, Robin Artist Studios, and uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a, a good rest of the evening, and stay safe, be healthy, be smart, and uh, wear your mask when you have to, and I'll talk to you again. Thanks. I enjoyed this. I really did. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, uh, obviously, since I've been going on for about 50 minutes now, but... Uh, uh, it's time to start getting ready for dinner or getting dinner ready and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Have a good night.
Let's see. Are you sure you want to finish streaming? Yes. All right. End.